Hello and welcome back to Crusader Kings 3. I am Lord Formand here with a guide on how to manage one's titles. Now, this is a topic that a lot of people um, already know, but I figured that I've had enough requests that I should do a video on it. So basically, in the game, you have a domain limit. Um, it goes up based off your rank. It also, you can get tech and your steward stewardship impacts it as well. Um, you'll notice that roughly five here gets you one. So if you can imagine as this gets higher, you can manage more holdings. Now holdings apply to everything um, that actually is barony or count related does not apply to duchies or kingdoms, although those have different penalties if you own too many of them. Um, the goal in Crusader Kings, unlike Crusader Kings 3, unlike Crusader Kings 2, or many of the other Paradox games, is to really stay at your holding limit. Um, you'll notice that even being one above the limit has a large vassal penalty and more importantly reduces all my levies and taxes by 20%. Um, think of it this way, if since I've got more than five holdings, uh, that 20% is actually costing me more, and so it would be more beneficial to give away one of my holdings rather than hold on to it, and I'd actually have about the same, but there would be no vassal penalty. So really, since I have seven and I can only hold six, I really should give away one of my um, titles. Now, however, I'm not going to do so because all of these are part of my petty kingdom of East Siax, now known as Middlesex. Um, so this is why uh, I am still over the limit. Basically, in terms of titles, you want to get down as close to your holding limit as possible. One over is okay. Two or three over is a real problem. Um, I'll just kind of explain why I'm even over it. So, uh, I'm using this game where I formed the kingdom of Britannia here. By the way, this was a created kingdom, so uh, it's not going to appear normally. But as you can see, this was the land I started with. I started down in Wessex, and then I've expanded up the coast. Uh, most of this conquest was done by me, but obviously I do not own it. Why don't I own it? Because of that limit. So what I instead did was I gave it to usually... Uh, uh, relatives or other people. Um, usually the relatives, I was very smart and stuck with the relatives further down the tree so that they're not my direct vassals. You see this guy is under the duchy. That makes it a little bit harder for him to challenge me for land. He doesn't have a large levy. He's not a powerful vassal, so he can't cause as much mischief as he could otherwise. Um, I did that a couple times. Uh, in my realm, uh, although I don't know how much of that land they've actually held on to due to wars and succession stuff. Um, so basically, if you conquer new land, first off, the new land you're going to conquer is not going to be as productive as your old land. So the odds of you wanting to keep it are pretty low. Um, this is actually very abnormal for a game where I started down here in a, whatever this... Um, Winchester and obviously I moved to London. The reason I moved to London and uh, it's something that you guys should be aware of is London has actually more uh, counties in it. Uh, actually, I think they might actually have the same, to be honest. Actually, I think they have the same or close to it. Um, anyway, I picked London because London has the, the Tower of London building. Um, but you want to try and consolidate as much of your titles in one county as you can. Uh, partially for succession reasons. reasons. Um, if you're curious about that, go check out my surviving uh, partition inheritance and succession video. But basically, concentrating on the power here means they're less likely to be split up. But more importantly, um, if you look at the levies, you can see it says independent realm capital. And you'll notice that this is my capital. But if I go over here, it says capital duchy plus 10%. That is due to them being in this one duchy, uh, which means I get 10% more benefit from holding them here. So why would I want scattered holdings around the world when I can concentrate it in one area and get a 10% benefit? Um, also, there's the fact that it, when you build duchy buildings like this one, levy size plus 20%, it applies to just the duchy, not to your realm, which means if you own the land in your duchy, you get that 20% benefit as well. So I'm getting 30% more levies from this one province um, just due to concentrating it. And so when you conquer land, the idea is you want to give the titles away. Who should you give it to? That's a little bit trickier. Um, if you're under the partition inheritances, you can't give 
um, land away to uh, children that weren't, were not going to inherit it anyway. And it's very risky to set up your children as strong heirs. The fact of the matter is you don't want your heirs to be strong at all, except for your primary one. So giving it away to direct heirs is dangerous. Much better way to give it away to your cousins. Uh, if we look at my renowned here, you'll notice that there's a fair, there's a couple counts there and there's a duke. I thought I had more, but I guess they've died out. Um, those dukes and counts were mainly given away to family members for the express purpose of strengthening the dynasty. Because when at war, dynasty members can be called to arms and they will help you, which is part of what you should be doing with your titles. You should be trying to give your titles away to family members if you can help it, but not letting them get too strong. Uh, I'm going to go into further detail about realm management in a different video at some point. Uh, but for now, basically the key is give away as much as you can to get down to your holding limit. Uh, the reason I haven't given away one of these is because then somebody in my capital duchy would be getting a benefit from it. And at some point, if I swapped my focus here from military to uh, domain, I'd have enough stewardship to own this whole area safely, seven Holding. So I don't really want to get rid of it because then I have to try and claw it back at a later date. So in this case, one penalty is acceptable, but there's a reason I haven't fully developed this duchy despite having the cash to do so. It's because then I'd have to give it away to other people. So title management, give away as close as you can to this. If you have to give away titles, try to give it to cousins, hopefully ones without claims on your kingdom. Um, try to concentrate it all in a single duchy. If you can't concentrate within a duchy alone try and concentrate it in a county you'll notice i have two baronies in this one county for the express purpose of centralizing it um you want to try and centralize as much as possible it's why it's kind of trying to represent historically centralizing power and prestige tended to give you more power than spreading it all over the realm it's created a stronger power base and it's even stronger in this game so centralize your power Try and hand out uh, titles to relatives. Don't go far over your limit. Try not to give it to vas already existing vassals if you can help it, because that'll just make them stronger. You notice this guy, this guy are getting way too much land. Uh, hopefully they'll break apart upon inheritance, but otherwise I'll have to deal with them. But if I started giving this guy all this land, uh, then we'd run into issues with him. He's already somewhat unhappy with me he would get even worse if he had more land and was strong enough to start factions so hopefully that got, that helps you with title management and uh, if you've got any questions or comments or any stuff please let me know and check out my other guide videos and subscribe if you haven't already thank you very much bye for now